my name is Jalen Koff. Um, I'm on the U.S. ski team as a freestyle mogul athlete um, and just wrapped up a training camp in Zermatt, Switzerland. So um, just getting that preseason training in and um, working towards the Olympic season. Um, so we spend a lot of our summer um, obviously working out in the gym and then here in Utah, we have a water ramp facility. So we get to practice our tricks into a pool of water. Um, and then we just brought those to snow in Zermatt, Switzerland. We have another camp on a full mogul course coming up in Idrofjall, Sweden. And then from there at the beginning of December, we start our World Cup season. Um, so that's kind of getting into the end of the prep season here and starting all the competitions going up until about a week before the Olympic Games. Going into the last Olympics, rank number one was definitely a lot of pressure, um, but I just tried to enjoy it as much as possible. It was my first Olympic experience um, and just tried to take in as much as possible, you know, that, that dream um, finally coming true. Um, and I was able to have a lot of friends and family there at the bottom of the course supporting me and going through all of that with me together, which was absolutely incredible. Um, and yeah, Deer Valley every year, it's um, the most fun event for me, the best World Cup that we have on tour um, with all of the friends and family and, you know, local community and everyone there cheering us on. Um, so that'll be right before the Olympics this year. So it'll definitely be a good send off going into China where unfortunately we might not have the same same crowd there, but my go-to meal would probably be um, like a big brunch with, you know, like avocado toast with eggs on top, maybe sweet potatoes, arugula. Um, obviously varies depending on where we are and what, what type of food we can get. Um, and then my cheat meal would um, probably be ice cream on the road just because, you know, it's harder to find and find a freezer for it. So <laughs> it's a little rare. Um, yeah, it's definitely been, you know, a crazy last year and a half or so. Um, but I think it's also given me a good time, you know, away from training and away from the sport because we're, we were not able to travel all year round like we normally can. Um, and we were not able to you know, go to our gym facility and be training constantly. So I had a lot of time um, at home with my family away from the sport and that, you know, gave me um, that extra energy and drive for the sport again, um, which I think was a really great thing. I was going into last season, I was so excited to finally get on a course um, and get back on snow and get to training and competing again. Um, and so I kind of still have that, you know, energy going with me now into this year.